um, graduated, essentially graduated from school at 16 years of age. Um, you do a series of qualifications in England at 16 and then you can stay on and do further qualifications at the age of 18. But I left at 16 with the intention to go to art college and study uh, graphic art and design and photography and that's what I qualified in. Um, I was meant to do a two-year course at a particular art school in England but a year into it my grandmother died. She had a heart attack. Um, I came home one day from, from school and found her in the bath and she'd had a heart attack. Um, she was still alive, but um, the medicos came and, and, and they took her into hospital. She was alive for maybe a couple more days. Um, and at that point, my brother and I, my brother is 14 months older than I, um, we, we were in this house. She, she'd bought this huge house in the 50s, um, like six bedrooms, but never had enough money to upkeep it. So it was literally falling apart and the roof was leaking. and. We were too young to get any kind of like a welfare or, or a benefit payment um, and, and we didn't have jobs, we had no qualifications and we kind of like went the wrong side of the tracks and we got involved with people that maybe we shouldn't have been involved with in hindsight and we kind of thought it would be a, you know, a good idea to be um, a little bit wild. And uh, literally, I mean it's no excuse but out of kind of desperation, um, one, one night uh, very late at night, midnight, one o'clock in the morning. We decided it would be a very smart idea to get over the wall of a, a monastery that was nearby, a Carmelite monastery, with a couple of uh, backpacks. And we got over the wall of this monastery and um, we took eight chickens and a 56 pound bag of chicken feed and packed them into rucksacks and ran home with a backpack full of live poultry. And uh, this house that we lived in had a meat locker, a meat room in the back, way in back. You know, the house was built in like the 1700s and it had like metal hooks in the ceiling for hanging meat when you were curing it and stuff. And, and we got loads of straw and hay and dirt and put it all over the floor and we put chickens in there. I mean, what planet <laughs> to do something like this? Anyway, the following day we ate one of them. So we only had seven left and uh, the police got a tip off that we'd done this. We had a bit of a reputation in the area for being a little bit crazy. So the police, under some false pretenses, managed to get their way into the house and they brought uh, some nuns with them from the monastery because there were nuns and monks at the monastery. And uh, the nuns came in back and they identified the chickens by name. And uh, the chickens, ironically, were named after states in the US and Canada. And they wanted to know where Alberta was and we kind of had to say, look, I'm sorry, we ate her, you know. Um, and uh, anyway, at the time, uh, the, the, the Prime Minister of England was a lady called Maggie Thatcher, Margaret Thatcher, and she had implemented a system, um, a very popular, very successful system for ju juvenile offenders, because I was only 17, that your first offence, that was it, you, you did, you went inside, you went to prison. So I went to prison for three months for poaching. But because we'd poached these chickens from a religious facility, they had to go back in the law books to like 1400 and something something to find out which particular statute we had violated. Um, you know, felony, um, illegal possession of livestock or poultry from a religious order or something, you know. And they read it out in court and it was like some medieval thing, you know. I thought we were going to be put in the pillories and have like st be stoned or something. Anyway, they sent us to, uh, to prison, me and my brother, um, for three months and uh, that was somewhat of an experience. Um, very good for you, very character building. Um, and I think, you know, I have to look at it very positively and say, well, maybe if that hadn't happened so early on in my extraordinarily um, successful criminal career, um, I might have continued in that vein and uh, we wouldn't be talking now, I'd be in Leavenworth, you know, or some such.